Today, I want to show you how to take a bulleted list like this in your presentation and turn it into a highly visual animated set of images that will capture your audience's attention and be much more effective while still allowing you to communicate all of your points. If you want to learn how to do this with Keynote on your Mac, then let's go. So here on our Mac, we have a typical bullet list slide. It's a bucket list set of items with six different locations and experiences. We're going to turn it into the visual experience that I showed you earlier on the screen. What you want to do first is have this list, your bullet to list, written out or typed out because you need to find an image that matches each of these points to replace them with. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into Safari. This is one of the two websites I like to use to find images, Unsplash. The other one is called Pixabay. Both of the links for these are found in the video description. Today, all six images come from Unsplash. It's real simple. You use the search bar. Let's say we typed in Machu Picchu. It's the location. It's first on our bucket list. And then you can go over here to these filters. You can either choose to use the paid Unsplash Plus or like today, you can just click on free images. And then for orientation, we could crop a portrait image, but we want to use an image that's already designed to fill our screen. So we'll click landscape. We can scroll down, pick an image that we like. Let's say it's this one. We can go over here and when we download, we can choose what size. The rule of thumb here is make sure it's at least as big as your screen, if not bigger. You can always crop it. So we'll click on this medium one, download it. We'll do this for each of the six locations in our list of bucket list items. Then what you want to do on your computer is have a folder where you put all those images so they're very easy to find and to add into your presentation when you're ready to work. Let's get into Keynote on the Mac and build the new set of images slides. So here we are back in Keynote. The first thing we need to do is to add a slide. So go up here and we'll choose blank. You could also do slide, new slide up here. This blank slide is pretty good, but we do know that we have six points we want to make and we wanted to use those with six vertical images. So to do that, we're gonna go over here to format. So our inspector is showing. Our slide got cut off, and so we're gonna go over to the zoom and say fit slide. So now it's all showing. And we're gonna add a table. Just choose a basic one here. We only wanna use one row, so we'll go down here and condense that from five to one. But we need six columns, so we'll go up here and change that from four to six. Now the actual grid on this table is gonna help us keep borders so that our images are not on top of each other. So if we go to the format inspector to cell, click on the left border, Double click in this box over here, type 40 and hit enter. And now you have a 40 point side there. Click on this middle bar, which does all of these across the middle. Again, 40, enter, ready to go. Look on the right side, 40, enter again. Now drag this over until it's on the left side of the screen, lined up with the top, maybe a little bit over the edge. You don't drag the handle and drag it down to the bottom so it's the same height as your slide. Then drag it over until it's centered. A little yellow guide showed up there. That lets you know you got it all set to go. Now we don't want this moving around. It's there to be a template to help guide where we place our images. And so you either can type the command shortcut, command L, keyboard shortcut for lock, or you can go up to the top and choose arrange lock. Either way, that now won't move. Your little handles are turned into X's and it's all set. Now we're gonna go add a shape. Go up top to shape, choose square or rectangle. It's kind of hard to see. So in the format under style, we're just gonna pick yellow so it's easy to identify. Drag it over here, line it up at the top. A little yellow guide will let you know you're there. Make it as wide or a little bit wider than what that column is. Drag it down to be the same height. Now you could copy and paste this, but there's also a command shortcut for duplicating. And so if you hit command D, that will actually duplicate whatever you have selected. Now you can drag that shape over in one step and it's ready to go. You also can click on the first shape and just press the command key and that will allow you to click on another object. Now you can hit command D and you'll duplicate both of those and you can click and drag them over. Now you're two thirds done. With those both still selected, you wanna hit that command D again to duplicate. Now they're in place, we have our placeholders ready. Now we don't need that table anymore, but it's behind all those bars. So how do we get rid of it? There's a great helpful tool here in view, show object list. And now it shows you everything. Whatever's in the bottom is in the very back layer of this slide. Whatever's in top is the top layer. So we'll click on our table. It's locked. We can just click on this icon to unlock it. Then we can hit the delete key and that table's gone. One really important thing to use throughout your presentation is to save it. So we'll hit Command S and save our presentation. Now we're gonna go in here and replace these with images. You can go into Insert, Choose, and select an image. You also have the ability to use a keyboard shortcut of Shift Command V. So we're gonna do this six different times. I highly recommend using the keyboard shortcut. We do that and our images come up. The very first one is Machu Picchu. So here's that image. Again, this is what's important, not only to put them all in a folder, but to remember where that folder is. 
We'll double click. The image is there. Use the object list to drag it to the bottom. While that's still selected, hold your command key down and select that first rectangle. Now you can use a little trick that's mask with selection. And so this will crop the image to fit just this shape right here with shift command M. We click done and now our first image is ready to go. And now we'll do that whole process again. We'll use the insert choose shift command V second image is our northern lights in Iceland. We'll go over here to the object list, drag it to the bottom, use the command key to click on that rectangle, and then do shift command M to mask with selection. Click done. Second image is ready to go. Good little save right here. And then we will repeat that four more times to finish all four images on our slide. I'll speed it up, but you can watch as we go. Okay, now we have all six of our images on our slide. We basically have created the final slide in our presentation. A lot of times this is a great tip for building your presentations to start with the end and then build it backwards. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this slide. So we're gonna click on the slide in the slide navigator here on the left, and we'll use that command D again to duplicate this slide. And we'll just do that until we have seven slides. Cause we're gonna build it one, two, three, four, five, six, and then have one at the end where they all are able to be seen. We don't wanna lose this bucket list. These are great notes for you to have as a presenter. If we go in here and click Click and select this, and we do Command C to copy. First one's Machu Picchu, so go up here to View to Show Presenter Notes. These are notes that only you see either in a printout or on screen in your presenter controls that are not put up for everybody else to see. Click down there, hit Command V, and that will paste those notes. Now while we're on this slide, we're gonna be animating one at a time these images. Since we're only gonna put this first one in here while we're here, we can also click somewhere off the slide and drag across the other five and then hit delete. So I just laugh with that one. Good place to save it. Go back to our bucket list. We're double clicking on that just so we can get in there. Highlight the whole thing. Command C to copy. Click on our second slide. Click down here. Command V to paste. So now we're gonna get rid of these by clicking and dragging on them. Hitting the delete key. Go back up here. Our third one, click and highlight, command C to copy, third slide, click down here, command V to paste. Now we wanna get rid of the final three images, so click and drag, use that delete key, good spot to just save it. So now we have slide one, two, three, four, five, six, ready to go. Now we want to set up our animations. So we'll click on this first image on the first slide, go over here to animate in the inspector, build in, we're going to choose wipe. We're going to set it for 0.7 seconds, which is just kind of my rule of thumb for animations from bottom. Then we want to go to build order and set this for after transition. That means as soon as that slide shows up on the screen, the animation will happen. And that's it for that one. Go to our second slide. Now we're gonna have two things happen. We'll click on this one. It appeared on the first slide. We want it to fade in the background now so that people pay attention to the second image. So we're gonna go over here under animate and instead of build in, choose action, add effect, opacity. Bring this down to 0.5 seconds. Double click in here and make the opacity 20. And then under your build order, you're gonna choose after transition. Then click on your second image and do the exact same thing you did for the first one, but change the direction. So build in, wipe, 0.7 seconds from top this time, and under build order, choose with build one. Now we'll repeat this process with each slide, fading out, doing an action to fade out the previous one, and doing the wipe to build in the current one. Don't worry about ones that are older than just the previous. I'll show you what we're doing with that in just a minute. Let's go through this pretty quickly.
now that we have saved it, we have all the animations built for each of those points to show the current point and to fade out the previous one. So now we want to keep them faded out. This one, this image appears. Second slide, it fades to 20%. That means from here on out, the rest of these slides should have a 20% opacity. Go to Format, down to Opacity, double click, make that 20. Now here is a game changer for you. You have set an image to be 20% opacity. So you can use what's called Copy Style, Alt-Command-C. Then go to the next slide, click on that image, hold the Command key down, tap on the second image. Now Paste Style, Alt-Command-V. Now both of those are set for 20% with a simple keyboard shortcut. Go to the next slide and we'll keep doing that, holding the Command key down and selecting one more each time then pasting this style so that they go to 20%. The last one, we'll click everyone except the last two, paste the style. As we go through this, it's gonna build on us an image, it'll fade out an image, and then the, each one it will look natural because it'll stay that way. But at the very end of our presentation, we want to be able to show all six images as a summary of our points before we conclude. So with this slide selected in the navigator, we'll go over to the inspector and click animate, add an effect, and we'll just simply choose dissolve. Set it for 0.7 seconds, just like we do the animations for objects. We can click preview and it will bring everything back to light. Congratulations, you've taken a bullet list slide. Now when you play your presentation, instead of a very simple text slide, which even this, with as neat as it looks, isn't as attention grabbing, doesn't capture the imagination, isn't as memorable, which you're giving information means it's not as effective as when you show your audience a set of images that animate at your speed. Then you go to the next one, the previous one fades so their attention stays in the current one. Each image, giving them just a taste of what you're talking about. And at the very end, all six are shown. As people watch this, you might get comments like, oh, I wish I could see more of the image than just the strip. And then you can say, well, what I'm showing you today is just a taste of what we'd like to talk to you about more as a company, as an individual, as a student, as a teacher, whatever it is you're sharing, this is much more effective, attention grabbing, and gets their interest than simply putting text on a screen. I hope you'll use this method to upgrade your bullet list for your next presentation. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you have ideas of a bullet list that you want to transform this way, please share in the comments. I'd love to hear how you're using this tip. And then if you want to find out more on how to be a better presenter, especially using Apple's Keynote for Mac, then subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.